Good morning. I'm so tired. My eyes are red and bloodshot and whoa, what's going on with the hair? We are going to Berlin for two nights. It is Wednesday the 7th, 8th? Is it the 7th? It is the 7th. 7th. Wednesday the 7th of December and we're in Berlin until Friday. I'm going to explain a little bit more later what we're up to because I can't hold a conversation. And now I've got a second camera on me. Thanks. We have arrived in Berlin and we've come straight to a place called Beats and Roots. It's been starving. Here we go. A Christmas bowl and a salmon bowl. We have gone on a bit of a tour. We found the Brandenburg Gate and okay, the best strudel is in this hotel apparently. And you were like, Naomi, your hands are very masculine. <laughs> so the reason we're here is because I've been invited to an art exhibition at a gallery and it's by an artist called Sasan Benham Bakhtiar. I think I'm pronouncing his name right. I hope I am. But I'm super excited. I have never been flown anywhere for the launch of an artist's exhibition. So I'm really looking forward to it. I've looked up his art online and it looks stunning. I've heard the process is incredible, uh, how he creates these beautiful pieces. So I'm really looking forward to meeting him. So we're about to go downstairs, meet the team, head on over to the gallery. Um, have this cocktail reception, have a look at the artwork, of course, and then afterwards we're coming back to the Ritz Hotel where we're staying for a dinner with the artist and a small group of people, so it should be a really lovely evening. We're not going back until Friday, so we've got obviously tonight, um, but then all day tomorrow and tomorrow night is free, so I'm excited to go and explore. <laughs> I'd had a look at Sasan's work online beforehand, but it's just obviously a whole different thing when you experience it in person. And speaking to him about his process with art has just completely blown me away. And I thought the pieces were quite spectacular. I hadn't realised that actually Sasan has embarked on this incredible journey of meditation and introspection and self-discovery and he actually works with energy to create these incredible pieces of art and at first glance you know they, they look spectacular on the walls but actually I noticed when I stood quite close up and just let the artwork I suppose speak to me I really felt like they came alive and it was almost like you could see the colours shifting and the process is unbelievable. He applies layers upon layers upon layers of different mediums and they all, it almost looks like sand, the way that all of these colours merge into each other, but it's actually solid. I thought it would almost crumble when you touch it. Um, I didn't just go and touch the painting, by the way. He said touch it you can see it's it, like it's solid it's not gonna fall apart and I just found last night so insightful I feel like I've learned so much more about the process of art and I've always had a respect for art but I suppose it's just inspired me to look at art in a slightly different way in that so much of art isn't necessarily what we see on the wall like the final masterpiece it's actually the process behind it like that is the art 
And Sasan is just testament to that because he has committed years and years and years to, to this process of meditation. And then the art at the end is, is the final product of that and what he feels and what he sees. So it was quite magical actually last night. I feel um, really grateful to have been invited to experience the exhibition. Last night was like a private viewing before it launches. I believe it's in Berlin for about a month. I need to double check that, but um, if you live in Berlin or if you're visiting, definitely go and check it out. It's quite small. There's only like a very small select amount of paintings, but definitely pop by, have a look, see if you feel that the art speaks to you in a way because I was quite blown away by it. So um, yeah. Really, really unexpected, actually. I, I enjoyed last night way more than I even, I don't know, expected, I suppose. Anyway, we actually ended up having a really late night, if you can't tell. I've got these dark rings under my eyes. I think we um, got to bed at, like, 5.30. <laughs> it's a pretty late night. Um, I think it's about half 12 now, and we are just going to hunt for some food. We've heard that this place called Silo Coffee is one of the best brunches and coffee spots, so I'm gonna give it a go. It's got to be done. A little Christmas market in Berlin. <laughs> What's he found? <laughs> He's found fluffy boots. five stories of chocolate apparently. Oh my god, I'm in heaven. Yes, this is solid chocolate. This is my vibe. Ecuador, 70%. Losing my mind in here. I don't know where to go first. Ooh. Oh, maybe I'll start with this. Okay, we've gone for a selection here of dark chocolate truffles. Wow. Way to do it. <laughs> Our first Christmas tree together. <laughs> Are you doing it over both shoulders? Just think of this. <laughs> this is kind of working out. decorated I have the most random decorations ever they're just ones that I've accumulated over the years from various places and they just stay in a box all year round and none of them really go I don't think there are any that are the same other than like these little cones but yeah they're all very very random so I'm looking forward to one day actually having beautiful matching chic Christmas decorations but for now this will do. I'm so so happy we did this. We were in two minds about whether to do the Christmas tree. It's obviously quite late to do it. It's the 10th today I think. Um, oh oven's going. Um, and we're off to Dublin on the 23rd so it means that we have this for about two weeks. 
but on the morning of the 23rd, I'm hosting my family here for like a Christmas breakfast. And I just don't think it would be the same without a Christmas tree. So I'm really happy we did it. Oh, wow. Look at those roast potatoes. And some ratatouille. And pita bread. Mm. We are having the most Christmassy Saturday night. We've got mince pies, ice cream, peppermint tea, and our decorations are up. We've already watched, uh, is it called Christmas with the Coopers? We've watched one Christmas movie, but we're just going to figure out what to watch now. But, oh, the Christmas tree is making the whole home just feel very festive indeed. Ooh, Wednesday. Right, who's watched Wednesday and who would recommend it? 